What's going on guys, Kyger here. And today is 11-3, big patch out, and one of the biggest changes right now is Companions and Marvel Future Revolution. I'm going to be going over how you get them, what they mean, and how they affect you as a player. So in front of me right now you can see Vision, who is my uh, strongest one right now. Uh, they're broken down into three uh, categories, normal, rare, and special. Uh, so real quick, there are three ways to level up your uh, companions. One is their level, which increases their base stats they give you for being equipped. Uh, second is uh, starring them up which will give them uh, better base stats as well as once they get to 3, 5, or 6 depending on their quality. Uh, they will get new bonuses uh, just like a piece of gear. And the third way is their skill. Their skill uh, on the top where vision is, you get uh, you equip 4 for your stats but the one at the top actually has an ability and once it's equipped it has a cooldown just like a regular skill it effectively becomes an additional skill on your rotation that you have to keep track of uh, auto does not use it so you have to click it if you want to use it so let's take a look at vision right here we have the base stats above my head attack defense HP all of them work the same way they all have different numbers so you have to work on that your own way if I scroll down it says bonus effect 5 and 6 star. That's because this is a special card. When he gets to 5 star, I'll get a bonus stat. When he gets to 6 star, I'll get another bonus stat. He, they all have skills, like I said. This is an idea. Uh, level 4 out of 7, as it goes up in level, uh, it changes some characteristics. Usually the damage and sometimes part of the effect. Like this one, the damage goes up. And the damage decrease is at 14.95. Uh, that will go up as it levels. Uh, if we take a look, so the normals right here, these are your trash ones. Just collecting them give you a base stat. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, you want to level up all of your companions, even the ones you're not using. Uh, these one right here uh, only don't have a bonus at all. The rares have a bonus at 5 star, and the specials have one at 5 and 6. Now, uh, your companions are under your squad tab right here. Uh, squad on the right. How you obtain them is there's an additional draw. The regular costume or mega card dimension box. There is now a companion. Uh... Not the best thing to pull on. I'd still recommend you get more bang for your buck pulling on costumes. But if you get tickets, there's nothing wrong with using them. Uh, let's take a look. And I can show you companions, details, collection effect. Uh, on the left is all the current stats I have from my collection. On the right is the list of all the companions and what they're currently giving me. As you start them up, they go up. So if we see Icarus at 0.35% range damage, if he goes to 2 star, that 0.34 will go up. And if I scroll down, there's a couple I don't have. And as you collect them all, you'll get bonus stats. You give them stars and levels, which increases the bonus stats. They are not a huge amount of bonus stats, as you can see across the board. Uh, they're all like roughly... 1 to 2 percent and then 80 attack 80 defense and 400 hp not really a lot it mostly comes down to the active and figuring out how that works with you this can be a big thing in war a dimension duel in fact if we go over to companions details uh it actually tells you where you can use them Oh, that takes you to their page. Uh, there's a thing that tells you what they could be used on. It's Omega War, Dimension Duel, uh, Regular Quests, uh, Alliance War. They can be used in almost every single game mode besides uh, Blitz, I believe, and a couple others. Uh, it can be used in the new Evasion event. 
And in the next video, we'll be doing a deep dive into these companions and telling you which ones I believe are the best. Till next time, guys.